Hello. Good evening, everyone. I hope you can hear me loud and clear. Yeah, yeah. sure can. Good evening. Hello. Yeah, hello. Good evening. I can hear you. Hello. Uh, I can hear you. Okay. Yes, I can hear you too. Yes, I'm, I think I'm fine now. Good evening, sir. Uh, without wasting much time, let's just go straight to what we have for today. Uh, sorry about last week. I was not able to hold the class because I was just uh, busy in church preparing for the service. But today, God's grace, we have to we will look at what the chat is saying concerning the the Nigeria stock market. And uh, what I want us to look at today is different entry strategy in the market. If you have been with us for some time, you know that there are five key things that I look at in the market before making any decision to buy or to sell. Number one, I look at what the momentum is saying. Number two, I will look at what the trend is saying. Number three, overbought and oversold. Number four, support and resistance. I want to know if I'm buying close to support and I'm buying, I'm selling close to resistance because that's the way to make the most of, uh, that's the way to make money in the market. So uh, the last thing that we look at is the volatility. If price is going one way, how far can it go? That is the volatility. I want to know if uh, if the market has to move randomly. They call it is the if market has to move randomly. How far can it go? Then that's when you look at volatility. So what I want to use for trend today, there's one indicator. I use it once in a while, but let me just see what a entry is going to give for today. Looking at the daily chart, we are going to consider the daily chart for this indicator. Anytime I'm using indicators, I would like to go lower. If I'm doing price chart analysis, that means I'm doing um, what I call price action. That one, I may not really come down to lower time frame. But when you look, use indicators like the moving average, like the uh, like this Achimoku that I'm looking at, indicator has a tendency to lag. So if you are now looking at it on a higher time frame, you might miss the move. So when you use indicators, you can go lower to lower time frame. But when you want to do price chart analysis, you just want to see what is the chart doing. I want to see the price. I want to see the candlestick, then I can go higher. So what today I'm looking at the daily chart. So looking at the daily chart, I have, what I have before me is uh, U, UM, UBN. Let me look at a familiar stock that I'm used to. Let's say Assets. Assets Bank. Sorry, it's not Assets Bank. How do I use this for, for trend? Anytime price is above this cloud. I'm not sure this cloud is very clear. Or can we see it? Or I should change the color. Let me change the color. I'm not sure it's very clear. Let me change the color. Let's change this one to, let's say blue. No, 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 no. Version line, I'm not using it. Uh, Span. Let me use this one as red. It's still not giving me that cloud. Okay. Let me change this one to blue. Deeper blue. Oh, no. I need a color that can shout. Okay. Let me see this one. Okay, opacity. Let me increase the opacity. I think that's what I was supposed to do. Opacity. All right. So I think it's now clear. 
anytime this is the cloud what the cloud does is for me it, it tells me the trend but one thing i like about this indicator is that it tells you the future direction the indicator that tells you something that is most likely to happen in the future when you look at this now if you anytime you see this this cloud if the cloud turns to let me make it uh, i think i like blue if the cloud cloud turns to blue that means it's an uptrend from here we say it's an uptrend uptrend looking at it now it looks as if it's still an uptrend that's number one number two that you look at you look at the 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 position of price relative to the cloud if price is below the cloud we say that you are in a downtrend if price is above the cloud you say you are in an uptrend when cloud when price is in the cloud we say is in decision we don't know whether it's going to cross below or it's going to cross above so what happened here when price came into the cloud it struggled up it came back inside so most likely what i expect this thing to do i expect it to come down but if it's going down how far can it go let's draw our fibonacci so where are the levels to enter if price is going down this is number one price that you can enter you can enter at 8 naira 76 cover number two price that you can enter you can enter at 8 naira 35 cover or you enter at 7 naira 91 cover or you enter at 7 naira 64 cover that is because it is in a downtrend looking at it if you want to buy in a downtrend that's how you use it to trade a downtrend so let's look at another stock like uh, let's look at zenith bank so looking at zenith bank price is already below the cloud so but looking at the future from here it's telling me that we are already in a downtrend in the future this is around uh, like october 25th so it's telling me around october from october 11th of october it's telling me that we should expect a downtrend is showing is is like a, a leading indicator it tells you before it happens so using this as an a leading indicator i know already we are already in a downtrend so how far does it go let me use my how far do i expect it to fall before coming before entering okay currently is at 1.618 retracement okay which is at 23 naira 67 cover so if it doesn't hold at this price it will come and it will come and test this level which is 2 2 naira sorry which is 22 naira 86 cover if it doesn't hold at this price it will come and touch this level which is 22 naira 4 cover if it doesn't hold it will come and hold at this level so as far as this trend is we are already in the downtrend in zenith bank let's look at sterling looking at sterling bank downtrend you see price has been trading below the cloud below the cloud and see what happened here it struggled below the cloud so it is a downtrend what do i expect how far do i expect it to extend against the trend okay using my fibonacci fibonacci so i expect some reaction at one era 47 cover if price doesn't hold at that if market doesn't hold there it will come and test one era 38 cover or go down and test one era 30 cover or one era 25 cover this is a downtrend so if you want to trade the downtrend that's how you enter into the market then let's look at uh, unity bank i want us to check all the banking stock unity bank downtrend what do i expect how far do i expect it to go against the trend from here i draw my fibonacci you see that price is currently respecting this level which is at 50 52 cover if price doesn't hold there we'll come to 45 cover if it doesn't hold there come to 
this extension 38 cobalt or 33 cobalt so that is how it continues to go down sorry let me check my chart updc sorry I, I, i'm coming to that please let me quickly check uh, let's see what is happening to gt bank gt bank let's see what is happening to gt bank gt bank is so sorry this is not gt bank okay this is giant cross holding is this gt bank sorry yes this is yes, gt bank is. wow yes, <laughs> i've is. not looked GT at bank. this talk in how many <laughs> let me see what's happening i've not looked at this talk. look at our extension against the trend you see our price is respecting these levels let me let me draw my okay you see downtrend here yeah? it tries to hold here yeah? it came back down to 27 nera 60 cobble you see where it's trying so this is another level that might hold the old price but from what i'm looking at this support my likelihood this place my likelihood so but since the trend is down i don't expect it to go up more much maybe it will get around here and start falling again the trend is down we are expecting earnings around uh 21st of august of october rather okay okay this dividend i think this is what make the price to 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 go up let me look at unity union union bank union bank You know, Bank of Nigeria downtrend. Everything is just showing red in this uh, market. God will help us. So let's see what is happening. How far will it go? See, this one level four naira seventy nine cobble trying to hold, or you come down here to four naira twenty two cobble, or it's going down to three naira sixty five cobble or this level. By the time it gets around here, people will start entering this this stock. Uh, let me look at diamond. Wow! See, we have moved into an uptrend around here. See, it's still going uptrend, but looking at the cloud, the cloud is showing that it's still going up. Momentum is down. Look at what the momentum is doing. Anytime we see something like this, momentum is going down, but price is trying, is struggling. Two things is likely to happen. Either this thing will spike up, we start going. In fact, from what I'm looking at, I still have the belief that this thing is going up higher. Let me check the weekly chart. Okay. Momentum is leaving the market already, but in the future, the trend has changed to up already in an uptrend in the future so this is a good stock let me now go and look at my fibonacci in case this is holding where do i expect price to get to so if you can get it around two nera what price is this around uh, two nera 17 cobble around one nera 92 cobble so that's those are the levels i expect price to react to but this thing what pushed this price this way is most likely going to push it higher this is like a boost flag it's pushing higher wah, 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 then trying to consolidate then i expect another move up in diamond bank let me look at what uba is doing ba uba wow the trend is up market is struggling in the cloud if you want to buy you can buy at this price but currently let me see what's happening okay this price is a good buy if you want to buy earnings expectation october 18 let me check what the weekly is saying okay weekly is saying that 
we are in what we are moving into a downtrend but there is momentum how do i know since 28th of july and of june this momentum has been printing painting green 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 and now it's crossing above anytime it crosses above like that it wants to push higher look at what happened here it crossed above here see how price spiked up it crossed above here see how price spiked up so it's crossing above here again i expect price to sp spike up so at current price i think is good but if you can get discount you can get discount and get it around any level here that's seven dollar fifty 50 cover or any level here but i expect price to get to like eight naira 10 cobo eight naira 35 cobo sorry i think i have okay echo bank okay let me quickly check this one is echo bank et eti Yes, Echo Transnational. Ah, ah, it just changed all these names. Okay, thank you, Ma. All right. Wow. Every time you mentioned Diamond, sorry, I need to know. Do we still Diamond? Diamond? Have I not uh, showed the chart of Diamond? Sorry, I'll go back no, to. I thought I okay. thought Access acquired Diamond, so it's a bit confusing. Okay, okay. I'll I'll check again, Ma. Thank you. This is downtrend. This is downtrend in the future. Down. Then out far do i expect the downtrend all right see currently he wants to hold at five naira six cover but i don't expect this price to hold for one two three four five days i've not seen a green i've not seen a green like this most likely we wants to we want to push down let me check see it's going down don't even look at it. It's going down. It is going down. So if you want to buy, let's say you've already bought around here. What you will just do, you just come and average down around four naira fifty nine cover. Just be waiting for price to get around close to four naira ninety, and you average your 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 entry. Let's look at diamond. And sorry, diamond. Diamond Bank. Okay, I've, I've analyzed that one. Maybe that was why this thing went up like this. So my question is that. Okay, ma. Uh, Access Bank had acquired them over a year ago. So why do we still have a separate chart for that? For the Bank? two. Okay. 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 Let I'm me just wonder. Maybe. Let me check Access. Okay. See the dates. 17 okay october let me check uh, diamond okay since april so this chart stopped at april sorry so they, they've stopped up updating this look at the date this is april i didn't check the date that was why it's not moving uh then what again which other bank have i not touched can we move to another let's check insurance Let's check in ICO insurance downtrend. So where do I expect the downtrend? This is downtrend. Looking at this. Entry at 84 cobo or 72 cobo is good. That's a downtrend. Let's check uh, Let me check what peak downtrend. How far do I expect it to go? Looking at it from here. Okay. 46 cobble, 42 cobble. Which insurance again? Okay.
12 rain. Sovereign trust. Okay. Downtrend. How far do I expect it to go? Sorry, this is not what I wanted to see. This downtrend. Okay, you can get around twenty-two cobo. Can price get to twenty-two cobo? I doubt. The lowest that this stock can get to. Let me check. Okay, it can still come to twenty cobo. Okay, so if you can get it around twenty-three, twenty-three cobo, twenty-two cobo. But if it goes down lower, then it gets to the support. So which insurance again? Let's see Guinea insurance. Let me see cornerstone insurance. Let me see cornerstone. Wow. Downtrend. downtrend but this stock this chart doesn't look tradable this chart doesn't look tradable let me look for another one it's downtrend uh solving trust have i checked name insurance wow just crossing below the the cloud what do I expect? Wow. This is is mixed. Number one, this is a boost flag. Market went up, came down, and start range, started ranging. So from here to here is a range. From here to here is a range. This is a zone. And we have another resistance around here. Okay. So the way it is now, there are two things that can happen. Number one, this this momentum is struggling. You print red, print green, print red, print green. Anytime market is doing like that, red, green, red, green is going down. If it comes down, as I printing red, green, red, green is going down. If it comes down and it's printing green, 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 it's going up. But if you start printing red, green, red, under, it's not very clear. From what I'm looking at, I would say that this is going down. I won't consider this boost flag anymore. I think it's going down. But price can now come around here and spike back up. You can come around this support level around one era 76 cover and spike back up but the way it is now it's not clear that it wants to go up and looking at the momentum the the trend again in the future is telling me that the trend has changed it has changed color so that's my own take here is that it's going down which other insurance i'm looking for the one that i can say is going up insurance if i check wapik name Man sad. Ah, this is down. This is down. Down. Where are the levels that we should expect? 81 cobo. And 81 cobo is the level to enter. And if it breaks this level, 70 cobo is the next level. Looking at uh, let me take one more. Have I checked Haiku? I think I've checked Haiku. What pick? Any insurance? We have seen, we've seen Haiku. Okay. Uh, let me see. 
ولی چه کنه از تو من ساعت like this is consumer service they analyze that means trading view is saying that this is a buy so i can now go and check where is the best price to enter as a technical trader i want to know you see this cloud has changed so where is the best price to enter i can now come and draw my bonacci So currently we are here. So if this thing is going up, we get it around this level is good. Any price around this level. In fact, around this green is good. If you get it closer to this place is better. Then you hope that it gets to 44 cobo and higher. Let me go and check another one. This is a uh, Park Hotel. Park Hotel. Okay. It's over, over, but price has gone too high. Look at the way it turns green, 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 green. Anytime I see green, 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 and it continues to turn green, green. Ready it cross above like this, the time to enter. See when it cross above, it will spike up. Uh, what again? Let me check one more. Okay, this one to the analyze as spy. This land Africa. Currently, wow, price is just touching the cloud, using the cloud as a support. So it's going up. How far can it go? Let's say from my Fibonacci. Okay, one era fifty three cover or one era sixty eight cover. So that is how we just. Sorry, someone has been waiting. Uh, sorry, 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 sorry. So that is just how we analyze the market for possible entry. So if there is any question, I will quickly attend to that. Or you have any stock in mind that you just want me to check in two minutes, then we call it a day. Any Can question? Can we look at live stock feeds, please? Live. And, um, your name, please. My name. My name is Uluwali yeah. Olawepo. Please check UPDC. Okay. New PDC. Livestock. Livestock. Oh, sorry. Livestock. PLC. Wow. I like this. It's mixed, but it's like a good entry currently. If you get it at this price, it's not bad. Look at my Fibonacci. Fibonacci is telling me that these are my supports. And currently, price is respecting this level. This level of uh, two nera, eleven kobo. So, but you still need confirmation. You will not want to enter on a red day, except you just want to buy a portion of your trade. Let's say you have hundred thousand nera to trade now. At this level, maybe I don't want to miss the trade. I can just buy like forty thousand nera and wait, or thirty thousand nera because it's not clear. Assuming this last bar, this last Friday. Was a green now. Uh -huh. I will have this confidence to take the trade. But the way it is, is going up. Number one thing that I'm looking at, I'm looking at this price, this candle. This one was a rejection. And for one, two, three, four, five, six days, price has been holding above the cloud. But I need a confirmation. I need a day that will be green like this. 
like this one that will just be green. Then I will enter. I don't want to enter on a red day. Red day is like 50-50. But when it becomes green again, it's it gives you um, a conf it gives you some confidence. But at the current price, it's good. Around two nera, ten kobo. But if you can get it around two nera, forty uh, four kobo is okay. Or you get it lower. You know you want to buy as cheap as possible. But price must not come and break this low. This one nera eighty three kobo. If this thing should come down and come and test this low and stay there, sorry, it's going down. But as long as it is like this, it's going back up. And what are the pro, uh, take profit possibilities? You have two nera sixty four cobo, and you have three nera fifteen cobo. So what uh, the other the other stock that you said I should check? Which one is that again? Uh, UPDC. UPDC. Thank you, ma. UPDC. Okay. Currently, hmm. if you are holding it, you can. I'm looking at two things. Number one, momentum is showing red, and this momentum is now green. And when momentum shows red, and shows green and price is still here by now i expect the price to have crossed above here before it will show another green for it to show green and price is still here is weak this current uh, stock is weak so where are the what are the prices that i should enter if i wanted to take this trade i will not enter at the market price it's not a good time to enter but if you have it you can hold it but if you want to enter the way it is if you can get it around here one and a 64 co 65 cobo fine or even get it cheaper than that but one and a 65 cobo is a good price to enter but at the current price if you want to enter i will not advise it let me look at what the four hours is saying i will not advise it i will not advise it it's like you are buying an expensive stock. You want to buy cheap. Let me see. BOC gas. Which one is BOC gas? BOC gas is. Okay. Ah. This chart doesn't look tradable but if you want to buy it as an investor you can buy it it's good but it doesn't look tradable you know anytime i see that price is just doing like this for one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven for so long it's just moved it's just doing like this there's no volume no volume that's why it's doing like this but it's going up it's going up number one trend has changed this thing has turned to blue and price has crossed above the cloud and is holding above the cloud. So as long as price keeps holding here, it might take some time, but it will go up. Then how far can it go? Let's use our Fibonacci to draw our extension. Ah. You see what is happening? You see why price is holding around that price, around that level. For some time now, it has been going up, so it's consolidating. Let's see what will happen if we consolidate for some from for some time again then we can now draw our fibonacci from here and project another level like let me explain what i'm saying if we consolidate here for so long then we now use fibonacci at this level like this one i'll draw another extension this so where are the possibilities 12 nera 44 cobalt 13 nera 56 cobalt and uh, possibly 14 era 66 cobo. I think that will be all for today. Thank you all for coming. Hope to see you again next week. By God's grace, we will look at other 
stock and if you have any recommendation please you are free to chat me i will also work on that to improve the service i am offering thank you very much sir you are all welcome so have a wonderful weekend bye all thank you yes ma'am